what's up? But here we are with another speed build, but this time it is basically giving y'all what you want. So a lot of you said that lavender and Dakota and indigo should move in to the Galliera, um, or the thrift store as we are going to go ahead and make it. And um, it's not really like a traditional like thrift store where it's kind of like really I wouldn't say run down, but it's more of like antique surrounding. It's more of like a gallery, kind of like consignment shop slash I don't know, just basically posting everything that we find, make, uh, just, it's, it's a chop shop of a whole a bunch of different things. But one of the main things that you guys had pointed out is you thought it'd be really cool and unique for Lavender and their girls to live there somehow, some way. I had a few um, kind of like reservations in terms of like being worried that we wouldn't be able to like host events, invite people over and all of that kind of jazz, which I do believe to be true. We can still invite people over and stuff, but like as in throwing parties and all that jazz, there may be a few little stipulations there. Um, so what I'm planning on doing is just basically just rise and grinding, you know, really working hard, even doing a little off camera stuff. Um, and getting these girls to have the funds that they deserve. Even though they've stole quite a substantial amount of money, we are essentially left with nothing because of Lavender um, taking out the loan that she did and not paying it back. The... Um the government or the city rather, um, took, took repossession of her gallery for payment. And so unfortunately we did lose all that progress there, which is, which is a little bit of a setback, but honestly it's nothing to, you know, get all in it, get, get all in a tizzy over. And with that money, we were able to go ahead and recoup and make something bigger and better, which is exactly what we're doing today. One of the visions Lavender had was running kind of an industrial modern gallery. That is what I'm trying to go for. I have modern, coming out of me pinche odejas which is my ears and I'm kind of over it at this point like I want to build something different but my next build which shall remain silent um is anything but modern so I'm really excited for that I just need to set some time um it's going to be a pretty big build I haven't done a really large build since I don't think I ever really have I mean the Barbie dream house the original Barbie dream house that they did. That was a pretty big build. That was like a six hour build, but I didn't, I didn't um, record it because my computer wasn't as good at the time and I couldn't like render all of that. It would take like seven hours. It was something really crazy. But anyway, my next build is going to be pretty substantial and I'm excited because I'm, I'm really getting into it. But anyway, um, what I liked or what I loved about this build particular, particularly, particularly, yes, is that it was kind of a extension of the gallery. So there's like its own little pathway. It's just basically a townhome and it's small. It is. I'm not going to lie to you. It is. And it's just essentially the essentials. We have just a few Bedrooms upstairs, just enough for the girls. We have um, a pretty decent sized one for Indy, Dakota, and Lav. Um, but that's all that I was really able to fit up here. I'm sure if I just organized things just a tidge bit better, I could have probably made an ex extra bathroom or something, which for three girls I think is going to be a necessity. But again, we don't have a lot of money um, to really be dumping in into this build. And again, at some point, if I didn't already say this, and I probably did, I would like to build a... Um, an actual house so like maybe make this a home that we spend a couple days at um you know and and work on um you know paintings and and, and building things to be able to consign or um and then being able to go home on the weekends or whatever the situation is because I really do feel like there's a lot of money to be had and I really would love to just, you know, shell it out and make a lot of cash in this gallery and kind of, you know, live out Amelia's dream, um, which was obviously having a successful gallery. I swear to you, Amelia definitely had split personalities. She wanted this per picture perfect lifestyle. She wanted to be a successful person, but you know, the, 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 the demon in her veins just didn't allow it. And she was definitely overruled in many instances to do the, um, opposite of what her intentions always were. And I feel like that is the spirit that Lavender keeps in her heart. She knows her mom was definitely a very ill person, a very sick person. Um, but she tries not to like dread on that too much. And she tries to keep her memory alive by doing something positive with her life because Lavender is pre like predisposed to that too. And so is, <laughs> so is Dakota. Like, I mean, anybody that has a direct um, lineage to to Amelia, it just, you know, has that darkness inside. Um, and I would probably say that is something that is a worry um, that that Indy is going to 
also um, encounter later. I'm afraid that she too may have some of those traits that Amelia had. I mean, obviously we know the biggest one of all, but she doesn't know that. So anyways, what does this have to do with the build? I really don't know. <laughs> but I was just kind of getting to the point of, you know, this is more or less in memory of Amelia. Um, this build here and this this gallery and what it stands for is all the positive things and, you know, just kind of not letting things set you back in life and, um, you know, keep moving forward, keep it moving. Like, you, even though I guess you could say these things are acquired um, with sin, <laughs> they weren't acquired with um, – hard work I mean the money was originally ours we just had to steal it back but you know what I'm saying like I guess there's just good intent behind this um and I hope that, that that's how it stays and I would love for you know Lavender to be able to have a really nice house and have really nice things and just do and and be everything that her mother ever dreamed without having um that curse kind of overshadowing her intentions and one of the biggest things that worries me is that Lavender is so jaded by her feelings that she doesn't see you know the good in the world or that there is good um surrounding her and she actually miss um reads people's intentions and the biggest one being Jake you know she's 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 fixated that he's going to hurt her she's fixated that he's 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 only out to get her um, when that may or may not be the case at all. We don't really know Jake that well um, to really make that call yet. So I do feel like her having something to focus on is a really positive and healthy move. And I feel like even though we are in a very small quarter um, and it's going to be extremely stressful for all of the girls, I do feel like at the end of the day, this is a positive thing. And I'm really excited to see this gallery grow and build. And at the end of the day, like, hey, you know, when we don't live here anymore, we have enough money to actually live in a house. We could just go ahead and kind of re, uh, re-renovate this section and um, go ahead and make this just all a part of the gallery. So that's something there. We're not really losing in the future. We can always take the furniture with us if we actually needed it. Um, something else I wanted to add, I had a really cool idea, a part of the gallery. I, I need a little extra funds to get me there, but I wanted to make like a, a gallery room, like where you're basically working and you're painting and, and you can like put a whole bunch of paintings in storage so we could actually have a surplus of paintings and things of that sort. Um, and then being able to put them on the walls as we're selling so we don't really have to be in this constant circle of like we sold one so now we have to paint one you know what I mean like having um stock I guess is really what I'm trying to add and if you guys have any other ideas I think we can sell um things we can do to make money with low overhead that would be an amazing um attribute from you guys I would really appreciate that uh too so I'm really excited like I know this is like totally a get to work thing but um I mean, you know, I do love the the build building and the business aspect of, of The Sims. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. I really am needing them to come out with something, um, something big because I'm, I, I am getting, I'm getting that itch. I am. I really am. Like I need an expansion stat, like, <laughs> or something to, to expand gameplay and be monumental, uh, because, I don't know. I'm not one to complain or anything like that, but I'm starting, I'm starting, it's starting to taste like a stale bag of potato chips that you left underneath the seat in a hot summer's day. Even though I can use my creativity and imagination to, you know, the, uh, the uh, most farthest parts of the earth, there's just comes a time when you need some more tools to keep that imagination running and flowing and going. And I'm sure a lot of you will feel me on that, but you know, I usually get hella pissed off when people complain. I do. I'm like, gosh, you know, like, where would you be without all this? But I don't know. That's just me. What the hell is this? Oh, we did all that? Okay. I think we did all that. We're good. <laughs> all right. This is like a whole nother like build area that we're doing here. So we're into the main headquarters of the gallery. I'm just going to call it a gallery. Like I don't have a name for it. Please leave me some name suggestions in the comments down below, guys. Right here. So wait, pause the video and do it, girl. I'm watching you. Okay. <laughs> um, leave me some suggestions, something creative. Um, something, you know, whatever. And you can leave tons of suggestions. Just, just, just go ham with it. Um, because I really do want to name and again, remember, it's kind of like a thrift store slash consignment shop sort of dealio. Um, and use your imagination to go wild with it, I suppose, is what I am going with this thing. Um, so anyway, we're just going to go ahead and make it pink. I think we're going to make it pink, and then we're going to go ahead and uh, put some of these, like, brick walls up in there. I don't know what the hell I'm doing over here. I do fix it to make it look a little more normal a little later on. But, uh, you know, I kind of wanted that archway. I don't know if, okay, this is the thing. That might change. 
All right, so don't judge me on that because it looks like a toddler did it. But that might change if I can actually go ahead and edit that so it can only be um, for employees only. I will, but I really do like the fence there too. So that little like section right there, that little corner um, is basically where lavender will paint, I guess. And it has like a lot of windows to gain inspiration from. Another thing I think we should add in here obviously is the thing for <laughs> for Dakota to continue to like just make a, a, a mess of things and just mash things up. But I do think that I, I need to get her her little craftsman table. Um, and then also probably adding in a public bathroom would probably be a really, really good thing because people are gonna have to piss themselves or have to go to the bathroom or whatever and they're gonna probably leave. So yeah I'm gonna tell you a story about it what, what was I gonna tell you a story? it was a song that was a song but that it didn't happen let me tell you was that blue baba dee, baba dee. I don't know see that's the things that go to my head like y'all don't know me like that <laughs> like I will be literally talking about something and then all of a sudden I'll think of a song and then I'll try to say the song and then I'll fail miserably but anyway <laughs> Let's talk about this paint job, though. Um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and do black on the outside, brown on the top, and then we're going to black those damn roofs off, and we are going to just have fun with it. What I'm doing is changing off the uh, stark white windows to something a little more not so in your face, which is like that gray offset color, and then we are changing the um, stairs to black, and then I'm just adding in a whole bunch of other stuff. The outside and scenery is definitely like not my main focal point. Um, I do a decent job with the funds that we have, but remember like we are trying to earn a huge amount, amount of money. Um, and I don't know, like I would say probably like 150,000 before I can actually build a house that I feel like I would be proud of or get a house that I would be proud of, not even necessarily building. Um, but one of the things I wanted to do was have a sign. I love putting the uh, open <laughs> sign on my windows. I don't know. I just love, I love selling stuff. I really do. I think it's fun. Um, and then I put it in some blinds just to kind of, you know, ricochet the sunlight in the afternoon because it comes in through those windows. And then what else did we like to do, Susan? Um, um, let me see. Uh, what am I doing? Whoa, transferring some retail funds. Hey. Yeah, we have like mm, $10,000, $5,000 left. The rest is Dakota's. I decided I wanted to be a B O double S, okay, and try to add in a fountain. And I just, it just, it didn't, it didn't come out like the way I thought it was going to. So I added in some lights just to illuminate the pathway and feel all fancy, um, like Iggy Azalea. And then I decided to go ahead and take my sweet, pretty old time by painting the train. Okay, we're changing the roofs right now. The roof, roofs, roofs. Uh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> and what else did I do? Oh, I added in some cypress trees. I love them. Those are like seriously one of my favorite trees. That and like the cherry trees or the ones with like the pretty pink leaves. <gasps> Those are my favorites. I love those. And what else are we doing? What else are we doing, Susan? Okay. Um, I am, yep, there's the area where I'm deleting it. So we have, like, the door, and then we have, like, the archway. I don't know. It's dumb. But I have it there. I don't, I don't know what it was. I think I was, yeah, too much coffee. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, um, we are going and adding in some trimming to the roof. And the last thing that I wanted to do was I added in a sign, but I had to make it because... Um, there's not like a lot of signs that are big and bold and in your face as I would wish would be a thing. So I was like, Ooh, Crescent Plaza. Like I like that. Right. Mm, yeah, me too. Um, but then I decided to go ahead and think of a way to actually make it look like a sign. So I was like, okay, let me go ahead and add in some half walls. And we changed it up, used it the paints that we used on the walls, and there we go. We have a little sign that says whatever the hell we're going to name this gallery, pretty much. And then I added in some glass, like, awnings, and I think that is literally about all that I did for this build and the terrain. So at the end of the video, we will have a couple pictures for you guys to go ahead and take a gander at. And I think that's about it. So please go ahead and leave your gallery name suggestions in the comments down below. The sun doesn't shine. And don't forget to go ahead and comment, rate, and subscribe. And I will see you boo -boo. <laughs> next time. Bye. Really though, you gotta go. You can keep on knocking, but you can't come in. Uh, mm, 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 mm. I'm crazy. <laughs> no, really, though. No. I'm freaking nuts. <laughs>